Hello everyone, I am MBBS students of Taiwan Harbor Government Medical College and Hospital. Right? Okay, now today I will show you how to perform the benzidin test in lab. Right? Okay, now the purpose of this test is to detect the presence of blood in urine. We all know this, right? Okay, now first of all, for performing this test, we need urine sample. You can see this is urine sample, right? Okay, and this is burner, right? Okay. And also we need 1% benzene solution. You can see this is benzene solution, right? Okay. And also we need what? The 3% hydrogen peroxide. You can see this is hydrogen peroxide solution, right? Okay. Now, now we come to the principle of this test, right? Okay. Now the peroxidase activity of hemoglobin decomposes hydrogen peroxide releasing the nascent oxygen, right? And which in turn oxidize the benzene to give green or blue color, right? Okay. Now we come to the procedure of this test, right? Okay. Now, first we will take uh, 3 ml of urine in the test tube. You can see now we are, now, now I am taking the 3 ml of urine right 3 ml of urine sample in the test tube right okay you can see then we will proceed to boil that test tube right okay so we will boil the test tube for uh, 2 minutes you can see now i am boiling the test tube for 2 minutes right uh, after that we will cool uh, cool it under the test under the tap water right why we are cooling here? Because the WBC peroxide enzymes can give false taste, right? So to avoid this, uh, we will heat the test tube, right? Okay. Because we all know, all know RBC peroxides uh, are the heat stable enzymes, right? After after uh, uh, after cooling, now we will add three to four drops of benzene solution. Now you can see, after adding the three to three to four drops of benzene solution, now our test tube look like uh, look like slightly brown color, right? You can see. Now, now we uh, come to add the three percent hydrogen peroxide solution, right? Okay. Now, after adding the three percent hydrogen peroxide solutions, then we will check the color of the solutions, whether it is blue or green, right? Uh, you can see here you can see the blue or green color form that's that means there was blood in my urine sample right okay and the brownish uh, brownish color solutions will be formed on exposure to air right okay so thanks for watching this video thanks